Hey, welcome to a new video. Did you ever dream of having superpowers? The idea of being invisible or becoming super strong? Well, I have good news for you. Superpowers exist, not only in movies and comic books, but also in real life. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 30. Meet Veronica Sider, the woman with superhuman vision who has amazed doctors around the world. Veronica has claimed to have always had exceptionally good eyesight since childhood, but her visual acuity is said to be at least 20 times better than that of the average person. Veronica first gained recognition for her remarkable vision in 1972. She was able to identify two points on a measuring scale that were only 0.06 inches, or 1.6 millimeters apart, setting a world record for the smallest measurable visual acuity. Since then, she has consistently astounded everyone with her ability to see minute details that are even challenging for most advanced microscopes. Although scientists are not exactly sure how Veronica's superhuman vision works, it's believed that she has an increased number of rods and cones in her retina, allowing her to see the tiniest objects with extreme clarity. Number 29. Louis Pugh is a swimmer who has challenged himself to conquer inhospitable environments and advocate for environmental and social justice. He's gained recognition for his breathtaking swims across the world's most extreme waters. However, Louis is no ordinary swimmer. He's broken several records, including being the first person to swim across an ice-covered lake in the Himalayas. He even swam across the North Pole and the South Pole when no human had dared to attempt it before. But what sets Lewis apart from other extraordinary swimmers is his dedication to addressing important issues facing our planet. He successfully lobbied the United Nations, resulting in the establishment of the largest protected marine area in the world. He also received the highest environmental award from the United Nations in recognition of his contribution to environmental protection. This has caught the attention of the production team of Aquaman and director James Cameron to raise awareness for the cause of ocean conservation. Number 28. Hammer Hands is a man who earned his reputation for his ability to break coconuts with his bare hands. But Hammer Hands, whose real name is Mohamed Karamanovic, can do more than just break coconuts. Not only does he perform this task with ease, but he can also do it with impressive speed. He also set a world record for the fastest time to drive 10 nails into a piece of wood, using only his fists. Another remarkable feat is his ability to break thick planks with his bare hands. He's even bent thick metal bars with his teeth, further showcasing his superhuman strength. Some of his videos have garnered millions of views and caught the attention of celebrities like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Number 27. Meet Mike Greenstein, a strongman who has gained recognition for his incredible ability to pull and lift heavy objects with his teeth. At the respectable age of 93, Mike has astounded audiences worldwide with his breathtaking feats of strength earning him the nickname Mighty Adam Jr. Mike inherited his incredible strength from his father, Joseph Greenstein, who was known as the Mighty Adam. Mighty Adam was a legendary strongman from Poland, renowned for his superhuman ability to bend iron bars and horseshoes with his bare hands. Following in his father's footsteps, Mike developed a passion for strength and decided to become a strongman at a young age. One of Mike's most impressive accomplishments is towing a car with his teeth, his incredible strength has also earned him a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. Number 26. Mohabija Miki, Boja Basic, is a man who can make metal objects stick to his body as if he's an invisible magnet force field. Born in Bosnia, Miki discovered his unique abilities at the age of six when he first noticed a metal spoon sticking to his chest. Over the years, he's refined his skills and learned to make not only spoons, but also larger and heavier objects such as frying pans adhere to his body. But Mickey's powers didn't stop at sticking metal objects. He can also carry heavy weights only using the adhesive power of his skin. These incredible abilities have earned him the nickname Magneto. After the X-Men villain who has the power to control metal, Mickey has become a popular figure in his homeland and has amazed audiences worldwide with his strength and magnetism. He even set a world record for the most spoons, 53 in total, sticking to a human body at once. Number 25. In a world full of noise, Jill Drake stands out with ear-shattering vocal cords. Imagine the loudest person you know and multiply that by a thousand. That's Jill Drake, the woman with the world's loudest scream. 
With a Guinness World Record to her name, Jill can reach deafening levels of 129 decibels, equivalent to the sound of a jet engine. She's earned a place in history as one of the loudest individuals ever recorded. She's used her unique ability to raise awareness for important issues, such as noise-induced hearing loss and tinnitus. She's also performed at music festivals and events, where her scream is considered a crowd puller. Jill's scream causes physical discomfort and hearing damage if exposed for too long. Therefore, she wears protective earplugs during her performances and encourages others to do the same. Number 24. Elaine Robert is known as the French Spider-Man and has climbed some of the world's tallest buildings without any safety equipment. His achievements are the result of his exceptional skills, physical condition, and determination. With his spider-like agility and precision, he navigates vertical surfaces with seemingly effortless grace. Climbing tall structures requires immense strength, flexibility, and endurance. Some of the buildings he's managed to climb include the Eiffel Tower, the Burj Khalifa, and the Empire State Building. Elaine Robert is rightfully considered the real-life Spider-Man. But another character from Marvel Comics named Venom seems to exist in real life as well. If we're to believe the following photo, the person has acquired some powers that enable him to climb walls just like Spider-Man. Venom bears resemblance to Spider-Man in various ways, but whether this story is true remains unknown. What we do know is that Elaine Robert comes close to possessing all the superhuman powers of Spider-Man. Quite impressive, isn't it? Number 23. In this next video, it appears that a man accomplishes the seemingly impossible task of creating fire with his bare hands and with little to no assistance. Fire requires a combination of heat, fuel, and oxygen to ignite. Some people claim that some people claim that this man possesses a superpower known as pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis is the ability to generate fire with the mind or through physical touch. It's a fictional power commonly seen in comics, movies, and other forms of popular culture. But if we're to believe this video, there are people who possess this superpower in real life as well. What's your opinion on this? Is this man putting on a show, or does he genuinely have superpowers? Number 22. When we think of superpowers, we often imagine abilities like flying or telekinesis, but some individuals possess a different kind of power that is equally remarkable. Stephen Crone was such a person, a man with a super immunity that baffled science. Crone's name is no coincidence, as he is not the first in his family to be seen as a medical marvel. He's the nephew of Burl Bernard Crone, after whom Crone's disease was named. However, Stephen is immune to a different deadly virus, HIV. In fact, Stephen came into contact with the virus multiple times throughout his life, but never became infected. This made him a rare and valuable source in the fight against this disease. His unique condition and his willingness to participate in research studies led to significant scientific breakthroughs in studying the virus. Scientists discovered that Stephen's immune system produced a natural virus-blocking agent that could potentially be used to develop a vaccine or treatment for HIV. Number 21. We've seen it in superhero movies where the heroes try to conceal their identities by wearing a cape and a hoodie. And we think that this would never happen in real life, but it did. In this video, a mysterious figure used her telekinetic powers multiple times in a supermarket. The people doing their groceries couldn't believe their eyes. First, her back was seen glowing as she used her power to retrieve something from a high shelf. But later in the video, she demonstrated her superpower again. When a little girl was almost hit by a shopping cart, the masked figure pushed the shopping cart away with a hand gesture. The superpower she used is called telekinesis. It's the ability to move or manipulate objects using the power of the mind. The concept of telekinesis has existed for centuries, with stories of people claiming to possess these abilities dating back to ancient times. One of the earliest documented claims of telekinesis comes from the 17th century, when German mathematician Johann George Faust claimed to be able to move objects with his mind. The Soviet Union was one of the first countries to conduct scientific experiments in the field of telekinesis. In the 1960s and 70s, Soviet scientists conducted a series of experiments trying to train people to develop telekinetic powers. Unfortunately, I couldn't find further information about it, but it certainly makes you think. Number 20. Pavel Trusov is a man who needs no introduction in the world of boxing. He's primarily known for his incredible Guinness World Record for throwing the most punches in one minute. You could say he's a very fast fighter. Pavel's official count for the most punches in one minute was an astonishing 322 punches. That's an average of over 5 punches per second. 
But what's impressive is not just his record, but also the technique and precision with which he throws each punch. He utilizes his entire body weight with every strike. It's also important to note that Pevel's achievement goes beyond mere physical strength. To accomplish what he has, he had to train tirelessly and push himself to the limits, much like Batman has to hone his skills. Number 19. Another superpower that has fascinated people for centuries is flying. Imagine this, you're filming a fun video of a historical monument when suddenly you see a real man soaring above you. Throughout history, people have made numerous attempts to achieve this feat. From Leonardo da Vinci's ornithopter designs to successful flight of the Wright brothers in 1903, there have been many attempts and successes in human flight. One of the earliest attempts at human flight involved using wings made of bird feathers. In the 19th century, various inventors attempted to create machines that would enable humans to fly. Some of these early attempts included hot air balloons and gliders. In 1982, Swiss artist Yves Rossi created a jetpack with four engines for powered flight. Since then, Yves has flown with his jetpack across several major rivers and over the Grand Canyon. But if you've ever wondered what flying humans would look like, would they resemble the man in this video? Number 18. Yang Guanji, also known as the Chinese Eye Socket Man, has gained international attention for his incredible feats. He hails from Anshan in the Guazhou province of China and possesses a unique talent. One of his most astonishing abilities is his power to pull heavy objects, including a car, using his eyelids. But I can already hear you thinking, how is it possible to lift so much with your eyelids? To put this into perspective, Yang can lift 32,000 times more than an average person. Despite the physical discomfort and pain associated with his performance, Yang has become accustomed to the sensations over time. He has shared with the media that while his feats were initially painful, he has learned to adapt and preserve. However, his dedication to pushing the limits of the human body goes even further. He can do other astounding things, including standing barefoot on sharpened knives. His stunts, though, come with significant risks and should not be attempted by others. They require years of practice and exceptional physical conditioning. Number 17. This is the story of a true kung fu martial arts master named Masayama. This man is considered the founder of Kyoko Shin Karate, and his accomplishments were deemed impossible by many. His legendary career in martial arts has earned him recognition as a true martial arts master. Masayama was born in Korea in 1923 and began training in martial arts at a young age. He quickly moved to Japan, where he honed his skills by practicing traditional karate. He became known for breaking the horns of bulls with his bare hands and reportedly fighting against a hundred men in a single day. Masoyama was a true warrior who believed that the path to martial arts mastery lay in challenging oneself to the utmost limits. In 1953, he secluded himself in the mountains of Chiba, Japan to live in nature, train his body, and master the art of karate. And he succeeded, emerging from the mountains as a true karate master. He went on to establish his own system, which was honed with the traditional Japanese name Kyokushin, meaning the ultimate truth. Number 16. The next viral video of a man lifting a truck with his hands has left many astonished. Trucks can weigh up to 88,000 pounds or up to 40,000 kilograms, depending on their size and capacity. Even lifting the smallest truck requires an incredible amount of strength. So how is it that this man in this video was able to lift a truck so effortlessly? Unfortunately, it still remains a great mystery. However, the Guinness World of Records states that the record for lifting or moving a truck is held by Hafyo Brionsen. However, the Guinness World Records states that the record for lifting a moving truck is held by Hafthor Bjornsson. You may also know him as the character The Mountain from Game of Thrones. But the first recorded instances of strongman lifting or moving trucks date back to the early 20th century, when circus performers demonstrated such feats of strength. The fact that the man in the video lifts trucks so easily, though, remains puzzling. One thing we know for sure is that the person in the video is definitely someone with superpowers. Would you like to be able to do the same? Let me know in those comments. Number 15. The goddesses of rescuers in China are a group of female lifeguards who must learn combat kung fu before they can be recruited. These women are trained in martial arts by monks from the famous Shaolin Temple, and their rigorous training regimen allows them to develop a unique set of skills that are essential. Training for the goddesses of rescuers is intensive and requires a lot of focus and discipline. The women spend several years training in various styles of martial arts, including the five animals of Shaolin Kung Fu, based on the movements of the tiger, crane, leopard, snake, and dragon. To succeed, they must be physically fit and mentally strong, and endure long periods of training, and maintain their focus and concentration. 
The connection between monks and martial arts in China is a long tradition. Monks from the Shaolin Temple are renowned for their mastery of Kung Fu, and their knowledge and techniques have been passed down through generations. The goddesses of rescuers learn from these monks, adopting their wisdom and techniques to develop their own unique set of skills in combat Kung Fu, and use their abilities to save lives on the beaches and in the waters of China. Number 14. As everyone knows, the human body needs sleep to function properly. It's a natural and necessary process that is essential for rest and rejuvenation. However, there's one Vietnamese man who claims that he has not slept a single night in over six decades. His name is Thai Ngoc, and his story has left people from all over the world astonished. According to various news reports, Thai claims that he hasn't closed his eyes since 1962. In fact, he says that he first had difficulty sleeping after getting a fever in 1973. This fever lasted for several days and disrupted his sleep pattern. He then claims he simply never slept again. Despite his lack of sleep, he's said to be in good health and continues to work daily on the farm. Experts, however, are puzzled by the man's condition to this day. The world record for sleep deprivation stands at 11 days and 25 minutes, achieved by Randy Gardner in 1964. But if we're to believe Thay Ngoc's story, he has far surpassed that record. Allegedly, the man drinks large amounts of coffee and tea to keep himself awake. Do you believe this story? Number 13. Dave Mullins is a filmmaker, free diver, and a name you definitely should know. He's globally recognized as one of the top free divers, with multiple world records to his name. Additionally, he has garnered numerous accolades throughout his career. Dave began his journey to become a professional free diver at the age of 18, when he first started diving with scuba gear. In his early career, Dave worked as a commercial driver, performing underwater repair and maintenance tasks. After a few years, he discovered his passion for free diving. He honed his skills, competed in contests worldwide, and ultimately focused on breaking world records. For example, Dave holds the world record for breath holding underwater for 8 minutes and 31 seconds. Another notable achievement was a world record dive to 423 feet or 129 meters, making him the first person to break the 328 feet or 100 meter barrier. In addition to his incredible feats in freediving, he's also an experienced surfer and mountaineer. Number 12. The concept of flying carpets has existed for thousands of years, and it's commonly motif in Middle Eastern folklore, including a story of Aladdin and his magic carpet. But apparently, the idea of flying on a magic carpet is not limited to movies. In this video, you can see a man in an empty street preparing to fly on his magic carpet. Could this man be real-life Aladdin? As if pushed by an invisible force, the carpet lifts off, even if only for a few seconds. Watching the video clip immediately raises the question, what power and energy would be required for something like this to actually happen? Is the invisible force actually wind, or is the man manipulating it? To begin with, for people sitting on a flying carpet, you would need a force that can lift not only the person's weight, but also the weight of the carpet itself. And what about gravity? According to physics, the force required to lift an object is proportional to its mass. Likely, this is a trick rather than a superpower. Number 11. Louis Sear was not just an ordinary strongman he may have been the world's strongest man of all time. Standing at approximately 6 feet or 1.82 meters tall and weighing almost 400 pounds or 180 kilograms, he was a force to be reckoned with. His incredible feats included lifting weights that no one else could lift and setting world records in back and shoulder lifting. His world record for lifting a platform with eight men on it stood for over a century. He's still regarded as a cultural icon in Quebec and recognized as one of the strongest men in history. But Luis's legacy goes beyond his physical abilities. He was also a successful businessman with diverse interests, and he used his wealth to support charitable organizations. Despite his massive size and strength, those who knew him described him as a gentle giant with a kind heart. Number 10. Scott Flansbang is a 57-year-old man from New York who has a cool superpower. And when you have to take a math exam, it comes in handy too. After all, Scott is known as the human calculator. In the year 2001, he was declared the fastest human calculator by the Guinness Book of World Records. Scott is eager to teach his specialty to other people. He travels around the world offering all kinds of courses. Even Stan Lee commented on his talent and was impressed that he was faster than a calculator. Yes, you heard that right. Scott actually proved that he can do math faster than a calculator. How cool is that? In real life, Scott is a math teacher, and nowadays he even has his own TV show about math. Would you like to be able to do math as fast as he can? Let me know in those comments. 
Number 9. At the age of 17, Russian fighter Asab Tamev from Grozny, Chechnya fought for the first time, and he managed to win this match, giving him the nickname Hulk. Since then, he's been called the Russian Hulk, and over the years, he's become an expert in various martial arts. In addition to his incredible body mass, he also has one of the thickest necks in the world. His neck has a circumference of 25 inches or 54 centimeters, and his head is so strong that he can even pull a car with it. It looks like you definitely don't want to have any problems with this guy. According to himself, he is said to have gotten his neck and his physique from doing a lot of bench pressing and squat exercises with farming machinery. Number 8. Budimir Sobat, also known as Buddha, is a 56-year-old diver, and he managed to break a world record for the longest time he could hold his breath underwater. He managed to hold it 22 seconds longer than the previous record holder. Budimir managed to set this record in his hometown, Sisak, in Croatia, on March 27, 2021, in front of numerous journalists and doctors. That day, he held his breath for seemingly an impossible total of 24 minutes and 33 seconds. What's his secret? Some say it's a superpower. Budimir, however, says that the key to success is to focus on the heartbeat while keeping his eyes closed. This way, he can listen to his heart and become calm. Another strategy he uses is counting muscle contractions in order to stay conscious. Number 7. Zhang Jizu is a Chinese man who has supernaturally strong powers. Check out this video footage where he manages to bend a metal pipe by kicking it. But he does other impressive feats, including breaking cable ties. Or how about breaking red bricks with his bare hands like it's nothing? It's unclear how he became so powerful, but I think we can definitely call this a superpower. What I find most incredible is how he even manages to break pebbles with his bare hands. How do you think he got these superpowers? Number 6. Being struck by lightning is undoubtedly one of the strangest things you can experience. But a man named Tony Sicoria says he even got superpowers from it. Before the lightning strike gave him his power, he was an ordinary doctor. He was 42 years old. He was walking the streets of Albany, New York, and decided to make a call on a public phone. After hanging up the phone and taking a few steps, a bolt of lightning struck him. According to the man, he saw himself lying on the ground with a blue and white light around him. When he finally woke up in the hospital, he thought he had a really cool story to tell. But two weeks later, he got the strange urge to play piano music. Before the incident, he was never interested in music. But in no time, he even managed to create beautiful piano compositions. Number 5. Remember Superman's ability to see through objects with X-ray vision? Apparently, this is not as fictional as we thought, if we are to believe Natasha Demkina. Born in 1987, this girl claims to have special vision that she can turn on and off, allowing her to see inside human bodies. The gift allows her to see organs and human tissues, and it also allows her to provide medical diagnosis. Since then, she's done countless lectures all over the world. Discovery Channel even invited her and decided to investigate her superpower. She told them that when she was 10 years old, she started manifesting her powers. She says she can switch to what she calls her medical vision in a split second, and then analyze and see people's organs. Do you believe this superpower really exists? Let me know in those comments. Number 4. How many people in the world can say they pump up tires with their nose? Meet a man named Ni Yangbing, who apparently has a powerful nose. In the following video footage in Chengdu, China, he uses his strange skills to inflate car tires. The man holds a rubber hose to his nostrils and blows as hard as he can. He can even do this while several people are standing on the car tire. But he didn't have this skill all his life. A few years ago, he told a doctor that when he blows up balloons with his nose, it would benefit his health. These days, he hopes to travel the world with his act to compete in various talent shows to showcase his unique skill. Number 3. Norman Gray is a world-renowned expert in all things related to honeybees. He's a professor, scientist, and author, and while he may not have any real superpowers, it's pretty impressive to have multiple bees on your body while playing a musical instrument. But not to worry, he's been specializing in handling trained bees for about seven decades. Norman even once managed to train bees that collected nectar from a sponge in his mouth. How bizarre is that? In addition, he also holds the record for most bees in his mouth, at 109. 
Another of Norman's accomplishments was officially attended by the Guinness World Records, where he wore a bee suit with about 88 pounds or 40 kilos of bees on his body. I don't think many people would dare imitate his feet. I personally go crazy when I hear one buzzing sound. Number 2. Daniel Keish is a 55-year-old man who was born blind. He initially thought that because of this, he would never be able to go anywhere. But he didn't leave it at that and managed to develop his own method of moving through life without help from others through echolocation. Echolocation is normally a method used by whales and dolphins to navigate. But Daniel found out that he could make a clicking sound with his tongue, which gave him echoes back from objects in his environment. This allows Daniel to move freely wherever he wanted and still travel the world. Today, he's also the president of a nonprofit organization called World Access for the Blind, in which he and a team of people managed to teach more than 500 blind children how to use this echolocation method. Number 1. How many things can you remember from the past? More than 50% of you have probably already forgotten. But this is not true for a woman named Rebecca Sharrock. She has HSAM. Only a few people in the world have this, and it means you can remember every detail from your life. So this superpower or gift prevents you from forgetting anything. Rebecca can, for example, recount the entire series of Harry Potter books, as well as all the memories from when she was a toddler. In her book, she describes her unforgettable experiences in detail. Her first memory when she was 12 days old is that her parents carried her to the driver's seat of the car and put her there for a photo. She also remembers in exact detail what happened on all her birthdays. What kind of superpower would you like to have? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.